double homicide in Colorado Springs under investigation, but it's leaving neighbors in the area with several questions. KRDO News Channel 13, Cindy Centifonti joins us now after speaking with some of those residents. Hi, Cindy. Riley, if you take a look here, we're actually still seeing remnants of the crime scene tape up here at the Summit Creek Apartments. Now, police tell me that it was a little bit after 1 a.m. this morning when they initially responded to reports of a shooting here at this location. When they arrived, they found two deceased individuals, multiple others suffering from gunshot wounds. Now, just a couple blocks down the road, another shooting occurring, leaving a man fighting for his life in critical condition. And police tell us that they believe these two shootings are connected. Shots rang out shortly after 1 a.m. at the Summit Creek Apartments in Colorado Springs, leaving residents alarmed. There was like 20 of them. It, it sounded like someone was hitting my railing, the stair railing with a hammer or something. Curtis Gilliam is one resident who was surprised to have police knocking at his door after hearing the shots. According to Colorado Springs Police, another reported shooting happening just blocks away from the Summit Creek Apartments on Lexington Village Lane, where patrol officers found another individual with gunshot wounds. The man was transported to a local hospital and at last report is in critical condition. Police confirmed that they believe the incident is connected to the shooting at the Summit Creek Apartments apartments, leaving residents like Gilliam questioning their safety. Two people died right outside my bedroom window. Gilliam says though he hasn't lived at the apartment complex long, he is no stranger to hearing about random acts of violence like this one. Police say the suspect is still at large. The investigation has been turned over to the violent crimes detectives. Now, because this is an ongoing homicide investigation and we're not sure if that suspect has or has not been caught yet, anyone with information about what may have occurred here is being urged to contact the Colorado Springs Police Department. For now, we're live in Colorado Springs. I'm Cindy Santafonte for KRDO News Channel 13.